great. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for coming to see us. Now, we actually, we all have a lot in common. We all have young children at home. And, Mike, tell me if this is true. I've heard a rumour that you are raising a genius. Is this true? I I'm trying to. I'm trying to on a quiet level because, honestly, the minute you tell someone your child is really smart... Oh, really, now? Your child is smart? Let's just see how smart she is. That's certainly yeah. how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can speak on behalf of me and Anna, and we're yeah. both like, oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's a great feeling, but when your child is four years old, but she has the mind of, like, an eight-year-old... So how do you know this? Well, because she speaks in sentences that, you know... Like the other day, she said, vestibule. I, the, the picture's in the vestibule. I mean, she says things like this. You know, I'm parched. I'm dehydrated, Dad. I need a little bit of, you know... She, says she used the word parched. Parched. Did she, she say oh. hydroflask? Because that's a new word the kids no, she, are using. I'm, I'll like, teach it's that a one. water bottle. What she do you absorbs, mean, hydroflask? She absorbs. <laughs> absorbs. Have yeah. you heard this? Hydroflask? Hydro yes. No. Well, I, it's my, my daughter says, the hydroflask, Mom. <laughs> Is that a flask where you put like? No, you put, it's just put... a water bottle. Okay. <laughs> All right. All it's right. a Because if we put yes. alcohol, booze in our in the flask, where I'm from. But they don't call that a hydro flask. True, if anything, it's a it's a dehydro flask. It's a dehydro flask. Dehydro flask. <laughs> dehydro flask. Exactly. So Aaron, she's walking around the house. Mm -hmm. She's four years old, and she's like, "Oh, what a vestibule! Yeah. I feel <laughs> parched." Yes, literally. She's just saying words that you would never think a four-year-old would say. All the time, and she's criti a critical thinker. I can't fool her. I'll, I'll say something, and she's like, "Dad, stop it. That makes no sense." <laughs> I, guess I can't just say stuff to her that normally you would think a kid would fall for. No, she just doesn't. She doesn't. Oh, see, that's my worst nightmare. I know. You can't. You can't. You can't bull. You know. I, my yeah. eldest is eight. I think I've got two more years of being smarter than my children, <laughs> and then I think I'm out. I mean, I sure. met what I met your daughter backstage. She Any. Is. Hi, Stella. She's absolutely uh, adorable. We have three kids uh, at did. home. Any? Are they showing any signs of genius? Of course, James. Of They're right. all geniuses. Okay. Of course. <laughs> but my middle one is an evil genius. Oh, go on. She is, yeah. And so she has this thing where she says, "You know, Mama, you married Daddy." And I said, "Yeah, I did." And she said, "Why'd you do that?" And I said, "Because, <laughs> because I love him." And she said, "Oh, well, I want to marry Daddy." I said, "Well, you can't. You can't really do that. He's already married to me." Mm. And she says, no, no, I, I know he'll marry me. Oh. So then Chris does a whole ceremony and he gets down on one knee and he puts oh. a tinfoil ring around her finger and he says, she says, see, we're mm. married. <laughs> <laughs> so then the next morning she wakes me up and she says, mama, mama, get up. So I open one eye. I said, what, Sienna, what is it? She said, I have something to tell you. I said, oh, okay, what is it? She said, I didn't marry daddy because I love him. And I said, you didn't. Well, why did you marry him? And she said, because I wanted to be queen. Oh, <laughs> no. I knew that's what it was. <laughs> She's coming for the crown. She's coming for the crown. Basically, it sounds like you live in an episode <laughs> of The Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly the sort of thing that oh, would happen. Game of Thrones, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so now I sleep with one eye open. Oh, my God. Were you, <laughs> what were you like as a child? Were you a precocious child? I don't know. I was probably perfect, James. Come on. Of course. I was perfect. Well, you know, I spent a lot of time in New York City as a kid. Uh-huh. Heavily influenced by the theater. Mm-hmm. I had an Uncle Jimmy who was fantastic, who's not with us anymore. But he never wanted to pay for theater tickets for me. So he used to just stand me outside, and during intermission, he would say, now, just shuffle in with the rest of the audience. They'll never question an eight-year-old. Mm. So I think I've seen, like, every... <laughs> Back then, when I was growing up, it was, like, The King and I and Annie were on Broadway. And at the I... top of the show? You were sneaking at the top of the show? No, no, no at intermission. Yes, yes, yeah. okay, yeah. So I, I never seen, I've never seen the beginning of, like, mm -hmm. Annie or the... <laughs> I've seen the back half of wow. the show, like 35 times. Yeah. So you just think Annie is a story about a girl <laughs> yes, yes. living with a rich guy yes. and then leaving him for his yeah. super And people. somehow I decided from all of that that I wanted to make my living mm. acting. Well, so thank I guess God did you did. Yes. And thank yes. God for Uncle Jimmy. Thank you, Uncle oh. Jimmy. Wow.